Hello again. During this time of COVID-19, I have been reading about St Julian of Norwich and her writings. Julian saw God as totally loving. She lived at the time of the plague and in 1373 was taken seriously ill, receiving the sacrament of the sick. During this time, she had what is known as her showings and spent many years praying and reflecting about their meaning so that today we can read the revelations of divine love. This is the first book known to be written by a woman in English. Her most famous quote, and one we've probably all heard, is all shall be well, and all shall be well, and all manner of things shall be well. In one of her showings, she talks of a little thing the size of a hazelnut. Now, one place I love to go when on pilgrimage to Lourdes is the little church in Bartrez. I feel like I've stepped back in time to the time of Bernadette. Last year in October, the walnuts in the graveyard were dropping off the trees. This is one of the ones I picked up. And it reminded me of one of Julian's showings. Let me read it to you. He showed me a little thing the size of a hazelnut in the palm of my hand. It was as round as a ball. I looked at it with my mind's eye and I thought, what can this be? And the answer came, it is all that is made. I marvelled that it could last, for I thought it might have crumbled to nothing, it was so small. And the answer came into my mind, it lasts and ever shall, because God loves it. And all things have being through the love of God. And in this little thing, I saw three truths. The first is that God made it. The second is that God loves it. And the third is that God looks after it. So today, let us remember that just like that little thing the size of a hazelnut, that God made each one of us, that God loves each one of us, and that God looks after each one of us. And so we pray, God, we thank you for making each one of us just as we are. We thank you for loving each one of us just as we are. And we thank you that you look after each one of us every day of our lives just as we are. Amen.